Hey everyone, this is RR from FinSuite and in this video, we are going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. This video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can set up the slider tool for your CMS. It's a really cool addition to your CMS where you can have a slider that's going to be dynamic and you can add these things easily through your CMS collection. So we're in our designer and we have here a blank canvas, literally nothing. I added a new page onto the pages that we've been working on before, but there's a totally blank page and we're going to build this slider from scratch and then integrate the CMS tools that we've created over at FinSuite uh, to, uh, to make the slider better, to make it more dynamic and easy to update with your collection list. You see, why do we want this tool? Why do we need this tool? Now, Webflow has created an awesome slider, but it's fairly limited to what it does, especially when it has something to do with the CMS. You see, with just a slider and you put the CMS in, it treats it as, it treats it as one CMS wrapper that you in, put inside the slide and you're not really able to put the other items in the other one, especially to be able to update it automatically or dynamically, um, it's a lot more complicated. But FinSuite has made it easier for you to do this. We will update it and it will be automatic and dynamic. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and create the slider. So we're gonna go ahead and add a section here. <clears throat> we're gonna name this section. As you notice, it automatically added padding. That's because this specific page, I added this page onto a um, the other tutorials that we've made. And so I already have a style named section. I already have a class named section, which has a hundred padding. So it's always good, you know, in general, just to always name your classes. It becomes easier like that. I'm going to go ahead and add a container inside this section. And we're going to name this to our current class name container. So we have these established and now we are ready to add the slider press the plus button scroll all the way down to components and then go ahead and drag the slider grab the slider drag it onto the container now automatically webflow is going to create three main things for you we have the slider which is the main thing the whole thing uh the mask which uh controls like what is showing because when we want it to go to the slide two we don't want it to show so that's the mask and then the sl actual slides, which is slide one, slide two. Of course, it has the components like the left arrow, the right arrow, the navigation. We'll do this real quick as we'll go ahead and name the slides. And we'll name it simple. We'll name the slider, slider. We'll name the mask, mask. And then we'll name the slide, slide. Now, some of these names you, you have to remember because you're going to be inputting them in the code so it's very important that you remember these names that's why it's good to name your classes because then you're able to work with the javascript you're able to um, input these class names so that the script knows specifically what you are wanting to work on so we named our layers and we're going to go ahead and add the collection inside the first slide now we already have a pre-made collection and if you want to learn how to create a CMS, we have a video about that where we showed step by step how you can create a CMS. And actually, the CMS that we're putting in here is the CMS that we created in that video. It was called FinSuite Products. Just shows the different products that we have over at FinSuite. So we're going to go ahead and add the CMS onto the first slide. This is very important. You want to put it on the first slide. So we'll go ahead and add the collection list <clears throat> onto the first slide. You want to make sure it goes under that slide right there. And the source will be the FinSuite products for Webflow. And what we're going to do right now is very key. You want to limit it to show only one item because we're not trying to show all four items into one slide. See, that's a problem with the current slider. That's really some of your only options you know, besides doing some complicated things. So what we're going to do, we're going to show one item. So go to the gear icon and then go to limit items and then change the show to just one because we only want to show one item. And then what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and name the collection list wrapper, the collection list, 
the collection item. Collections usually have three different levels. We have the wrapper, the list, and the item itself. We're going to name it very simple. We're going to name the collectioner's wrapper into slider collection slider hyphen collection wrapper. And you want to have these hyphens instead of spaces because code usually doesn't recognize spaces and so you always want to connect it. That's why we put hyphens a lot in these. Slider collection wrapper and the collection list would be slider collection list. Now I want to put it specifically slider because we have other classes named collection wrapper collection list. I don't want it to get confused with this. And then the collection item will be called I click the collection item and we're going to call it slider collection item. So we've named these things so far. We have slider, mass, slide, and in the collection would be, we have the names right here. Now this one's very key as well. You want to make every single le level or layer of this collection 100%, 100% width, 100% height, because we want it to take up the slider. And it's going to be a lot easier as well when you style it that it's 100%. So we're going to make everything 100%. Same with the wrapper. All right. Now that we've done that, we're going to go and add the items inside the collection. Before we do that, this is very important. You want to place a div block inside this collection item. And these are where we're going to put our items. So we'll go ahead and put a div block inside the item. And we're going to call this slider collection box. And we're also going to make that 100% width and 100% height. Now, before I put the items, I already kind of planned what it's going to look like. So we're going to make it a flex container with the items being aligned, uh, vertical aligned in the center and also justified in the center as well because we want it to be in the middle. OK. So now that we have the slider collection box, we'll go ahead and add the image. Press the plus sign. Drag image onto this box. Now we're going to get the image from our CMS, which is the product image. And notice, I don't like how this looks. It's It takes up the whole thing. So we're going to go ahead and change the width. We're going to make it around 400 pixels width. That's about a good size. And we're going to go ahead and name it to slider hyphen image, IMG, short for image. And then we're going to go ahead and add a text box to the right. And the reason why I want to put a text box because we're actually adding two texts. We're going to add the heading, the heading and the paragraph. And also, I mean, if you want to add other things like a link or whatever, you're able to do that. But we're only going to put the collection box. I'm sorry, we're only going to put the heading and also the paragraph in that text box. And because we have it flex, we want to add another text box so that it looks organized. And we'll get that look that we want. So we'll go ahead and add a div block right underneath this. We're going to name this slider text box. I know we're inputting a lot of class names, but you don't have to remember every single one of them. It's just good general practice to name your classes. There's really only around two, maybe three class names that you have to remember. Okay. And at least you can refer back to it when now that you have the class names. So we're going to put this slider text box and we're going to go ahead and add a heading. And we're going to name this heading. We're going to click this. We're going to get the text from the title. And there we go. Then we're going to add a paragraph underneath. And we're going to name this paragraph. These are uh, current styles that we already have, current classes that we already have. We made it preset, so we want to be consistent with the styling. Click the get text and then get it from the description. And there we go. We have it. This is not the style we want. So what we can do, because we have the text box, we're going to go ahead and add some padding or margin, I mean, on the right side. So that it has some margin in there. About 50 is good. And then, of course, some things as well, just to fix the styling, we don't want the image or the text to bleed out onto the arrow. So we're going to go ahead and click the slider 
collection item, and we're going to add some padding inside it. Now, there's two ways you can add padding. You can go ahead and drag it, or my personal preference, sometimes I just like to type it. I'm going to put 75 so that it is out of the way of the arrow. And I'm also going to put a padding on the bottom so it's out of the way of the dots. So I'll put around 50 on the bottom. And that's about, that's about what we want right there. That's what we want. So now that we have these, I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And I'm going to show you why we need the CMS for Webflow from FinSuite. If we go ahead and go to the site, <clears throat> we have our first item, but we have nothing else. That's all we have. So we're going to go ahead and add some things here so that we're able to um, add these uh, all the items in the collection. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and copy this whole collection wrapper. We're going to copy this and then go to the second slide and paste it onto there. Now we're going to make some changes. Okay, it's going to be a little different. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and disconnect the image and the text from the collection. And the reason why is really the only thing we need is this right here. We need this. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect this by clicking the gear button and just clicking the, the get text from, unclicking that, and then it automatically disconnects it. Same here. Press the gear button, unclick this, uncheck it. And then click the gear button here and then uncheck that as well because this is the one that we need so we're going to go ahead and uh, drag this we're going to uh, click it and drag it all the way to the top we want it inside the slide but we don't want it inside the collection wrapper and then we can go ahead and delete the collection wrapper now why do we want that well you see this slider collection box is what we need Oh, just a quick minor change. I made a mistake when I made the item to be the one that has the padding. The item should not have the padding. It should be the slide itself that has the padding. So make that change real quick. The slide should have the padding. And the reason why is we want it to apply to all of the items and not just, you know, the first one. And there you go, right? We have it on the second item as well. So now that we have this, we and the reason why we want this second slide here, we want this second item which is not connected to the CMS, is so that you can style it. You know, you're able to put some style and do what you want with this thing. You know, if you want to make some changes, you want to put some animations and all those things. Because as you make the change here, you can the, the change will also apply to the actual collection. This is really more for the for you, the creator. Um, so that you are able to edit and slide this easily. Edit and, you know, modify it easily. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy the original collection. Remember this collection right here? We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it right just on the container. We're just going to put it right here. And the reason why we have this, so it's going to be here, but it's actually going to be hidden. And the reason why we have this is so that the script is going to pull the information from this. It's going to pull the dynamic list from this collection. But we're actually going to hide it. In order to do that effectively, we have to add a secondary class onto this collection. Now, this specific collection, the secondary class name is going to be very, very important. Make sure you remember that class name. We're going to name this, since it's going to be dynamic, we're going to name it dynamic collection, dynamic collection. That's our secondary class. And then what we're going to do real quick is we're going to change the limit. Because remember, the limit on the original one was one, but we wanted to show every single item. We have about six items in the CMS, but I'm going to go ahead and put 20. This gives you more room. If you want to add more items, then once you add it onto the CMS, it automatically uploads it on here as well. So we have our items here. And then we'll go ahead and 
hide this collection wrapper. It's not going to do it on the first one, the original one, because this one has that secondary class. And remember, that's very, very important. So we'll go ahead and hide that one. We're going to be pulling the information. We're going to be pulling the CMS from that dynamic collection because that one has all of the items, while this one only has one. So now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and publish it, and let's go take a look at it. We're going to look at it, and this is actually what we want. You see, we have our original one. This is the dynamic one, CMS one. And this one, is it doesn't work. It's just visualized really for you. So what we're going to do is now we're going to add our code, and then you'll see what happens. Go to Visual Script Writer. Remember that? That's your best friend. If you want to learn how to use this, we actually have a whole video about this. Go back to, um, go, go back to that video. We teach you how to use this and how to properly put it on your page. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to click the slider one. That's the one we're trying to add. And so, and by the way, like I said, you're able to combine some of these, you know, elements like combine and all that stuff. Now, the CMS list class. This is important. The CMS list class, remember that secondary name that you put, which was this one right here. If you click this, remember that dynamic collection? You see, that's where we'll be pulling the information from. So we're going to go ahead and put the CMS list class as dynamic hyphen collection. Put the period before because it's a class name. And then the slider class. The slider class is really simple. It's just the slider, which is this one right here. And as you remember, we just named it slider, right? So we'll go ahead and click. We'll put here dot slider. And then it should automatic. We'll go ahead and click reset the IX. Now, once you have this code, copy the code, go back to your um, Webflow document, click the page. Um, don't worry about the multiple ones. Do we use a slider one? Press the gear and then go to the body. We're going to paste it on the before body tag. Click save. And then let's publish it. Remember, script is not going to show on just preview. You have to publish it and then look at it. So we'll click the publish icon. And there you go. Check this out. We have every single item here now. Now, if you go to the CMS, if you add a new item, you're actually, it's going to add it automatically. It's going to add a whole, another dot here. It's going to add another item here and that just makes your life so much easier even i myself i'm look i'm already imagining what websites that i want to put this on there's some websites that i've created i'm probably going to upgrade and i'm going to input this specific tool now whenever you want to add a new item all you it automatically adds it to the slider and if you want less items let's say you don't want to show every single one let's say you want to limit it to i don't know uh, here, let's go back here. If you want to go and limit it to only uh, four items, well, just do show four and then publish it. And there you go. As you notice, it's only showing the first four. And so that is how you start out and go ahead and set up the CMS slider for Webflow. If you still have any questions or are having trouble setting up the slider tool, I encourage you to visit sweetjs.io and join our Slack channel. This is our customer service channel for any of the tools that FinSuite has created and you can ask your question there. Until next time, stay tuned for more videos that we have and more tutorials for any of the tools that we have over at FinSuite. That's FinSuite.